friends welcome to netra jyoti i hospital in this video i want to show a case where there is anterior insertion of jonular fibers there is only about 3 mm clear zone the anterior jonular fibers have come so much anteriorly i did a very small rexis in this case about 4 mm in diameter even then i had to tear the jonular fibers all around and this is the first case i am seeing in my practice with so much anterior insertion of the jonular fibers by this time the main incision and two side ports have been made and now i am going to do capsulo rexis the intercapsule has been incised and the capsular flap has been raised now i am taking the uterus forceps and as i am going all around about 360 degree i am tearing off some jonular fibers which are on the way since if i go more peripherally i will tear up more jonular fibers i did a small rexis about 4 mm in size rexis is done now hydro dissection This is a 27 gauge cannula. BSS is first underneath the anterior capsular rim. The fluid wave goes to the opposite side. The nucleus, the cataract is tapped, and the nucleus is rotated. And now, some more visco. You can see that the cataract is. soft nuclear sclerosis will be about 2 plus in this case and i'm thinking i may be able to hold this nucleus with low vacuum so i have set the vacuum at 350 mm of mercury and 35 ml per minute flow rate ultrasonic power being used is only 40% in this case I'm making a small pit in front of the main incision and trying to hold it but as i tried to hold this i found that i cannot hold it with high vacuum so I applied little vacuum and i could hold it fortunately the nucleus is brittle and it divided into pieces easily now each nuclear fragment is being emulsified with ultrasonic energy and it is being removed ultrasonic power used is only 40% this is the last nuclear fragment it is emulsified and removed in this case i can see there is thick epinucleus and i can see the thickest part is towards 7 o'clock so i turn the tip towards 7 o'clock at this time no ultrasonic power must be applied just by vacuum hold the epinucleus bring it at the center of the anterior chamber at the iris plane and emulsify at no time the tip should come anteriorly emulsification should be done at the anterior capsular plane and we should not come anteriorly beyond the iris plane now we can see the rexis it is quite small about 4 mm in size This is a 23G Simco cannula being used for removal of the cortical fibers and see how easily we can remove the cortical matter with this very uh, simple and 
nice instrument. That's it. This is the cortex, subincisional cortex is removed. Now, some uh, polishing of the posterior capsule is done. Polishing, polishing of the posterior capsule, the safest technique probably is just sweeping the fluid jet over the posterior capsule. In this case, we have selected a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens. And the lens is being implanted under irrigation. This is the irrigating probe. It is being used for polishing the posterior capsule. We can say this is hydro polish. And now, the antechamber is kept formed by irrigating fluid and here goes the intraocular lens. The leading haptic goes into the bag and the trailing haptic is pushed into the bag by the irrigating probe. The irrigating probe is used to irrigate the anterior chamber and whatever viscoelastic substance was there in the lumen of the cartridge comes out. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are hydrated. The side ports are nicely hydrated so that these stab wounds become watertight. And now, this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time, irrigation is also done through the aspirating port for a few seconds and whatever viscoelastic substance is there on the sticking to the corneal endothelium comes out. The antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.